Hi, in this video, I am going to provide you an overview of the prerequisites of using Windows application driver. I will also talk about the tool installations which are needed for developing an automated test with Windows application driver. We will also enable the Windows 10 developer mode. The Windows application driver is also known as WinApp driver. Windows 10 is a mandatory requirement for running WinApp driver. The WinApp driver is based on Appium. This means that in order to run WinApp driver, we'll need to install Appium, but Appium runs on top of Node.js which means we'll also need to install Node.js first of all. The Windows application driver implements only the functionality which is specified in the web driver. Our scripts are going to communicate to an instance of a WinApp driver through HTTP using a predefined API. For writing c .NET scripts, we will install Visual Studio Community Edition. The WinApp driver can be run in Windows 10 developer mode only. So let us enable the Windows 10 developer mode before proceeding further. I will click the start button and then I will click the settings icon. In the find text box, I will type developer and I will hit enter. On the next screen, I will select the radio button developer mode. That's it. In the next video, we will install Visual Studio.NET and other tools such as Node.js. So, see you in the next video. So, the video which you just watched is from my course about UI test automation using WinApp Driver and C-Sharp.NET. This course focuses on testing of Windows applications. I am myself a software quality assurance professional and I have put special focus to make this course very useful for software testers. This course will be useful for you even if you are uh, totally new to software test automation or even if you have already some background with software test automation and you just need to learn what are the tools which are needed how to install things and do stuff uh, to utilize WinApp driver for testing of Windows applications. That is for testing WinForms applications or uh, UWP applications or even uh, WPF applications. So do enroll in my course. A link is given below in the comments and uh, feel free to reach out. I will be there to help you in the Q&A section of the course as well. Complete source code is also provided with the source. So see you in the course and thank you very much for watching the video.